We are joined by a special guest here on Inside the NBA, the 22-year-old NBA Rookie of the Year, unanimous choice, Damian Lillard of the Portland Trailblazers. 19 points, 7 assists is what he averaged. Played every game. Damian, didn't you play every game this year? Yeah, I played every one of them. All 82 of those things. And uh, a tremendous year out of Weber State. What a sack play. And, <laughs> and we, <laughs> we welcome him here to Studio J. Damien, it's good to see you, man. Congratulations. Great good to have you. you here. Another what? Shaq comment, I'm going to punch you in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Yeah. Man. Congratulations. You, know, you know the thing we heard most about your game uh, this year? Was, uh, it was not about your game specifically, about your poise uh, and, and your approach to the game. And, and guys on the Heat, LeBron James and others saying, you stay in your lane. And uh, so tell me where this poise came from at the age of 22 to do what you did in your first year. Um, I think the, the biggest thing is that I don't, I'm not scared. Uh, growing up in Oakland, I think I, I saw a lot worse things. I was up against a lot worse things and in the neighborhood, just getting into fights. and. Uh, playing against bigger kids my whole life, so I wasn't, I wasn't scared then. And now, the worst thing that could happen is me lose a basketball game or get outplayed. So I don't have a reason to to not have for us. Coming from Oakland, how was it? Uh, tell us the experience with working with uh, guys like Gary Payton and Jason Kidd. Well, I, I didn't, I have never worked with Jason Kidd, but throughout the whole draft process, I worked a lot with B. Shaw. Me and B. Shaw was in the gym a lot. He helped me uh, as far as getting ready for some of the things that I would see. So. Um, that really helped me, just from somebody that played in the league. Uh, but GP, this summer is going to be the first time I actually get a chance to work with him. You know, I got two questions. Number one, first of all, you're smaller than I thought you were. <laughs> you look bigger on television, which is a compliment. You play bigger. But for you, I want get, to get your advice. What would you tell these young kids? Because right now, all these young kids want to come to the NBA after one year or two years. How did staying in school prepare you for the rigors of the NBA? Uh, it really helped because I got a chance to mature as a person and as a player. And, uh, when I went to Weber State, I was an NBA player. So over those four years, I had a chance to keep getting better and develop myself. And a lot of these guys coming out of high school are more talented than I was. So uh, if they take that time to make those strides and get better over maybe two or three years, they might come out and be a lot better players in the league. This graphic right here, I love that, that bottom line, third rookie in NBA history with at least 1,500 points and 500 assists. Only the Big O wow. and AI have done that. When you see your name linked to, to stats like He's that. He's smiling right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's already smiling. You don't have to tell him what you want. I mean, it's a, that's great company, but um, you know, I realize that those guys have a, a greater body of work than I have. It's just one season. And you know, I got to keep getting better. I mean, 1,500 points and 500 assists shows that I was able to do my job well this season. So next year, I got to come out and, and show some improvements uh, and try to help my team get in the playoffs. You know, we always hear about the, the tough things in the I mean, tough things in the NBA, like uh, the athleticism, the amount of games. What was the easiest thing coming that you were like, wow, this is much easier than I thought it would be? Uh, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be to be myself because coming in, I had guys like Nick Batum, Wes Matthews, and L.A. being an all-star. I thought it would be harder for me to be the scoring point guard that I am and still make those guys happy, and they just accepted me. As soon as I came in, they, they let me play my game. Uh, nobody was on my case about every time I shot the ball, so uh, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Did, well, you, did you know coming into the NBA that you were going to be a rookie of the year? I knew I could be. <laughs> um, I mean, I said it in my press conference when I entered the draft, I want to be rookie of the year. And a lot of people might have looked at that like I was crazy, but um, I really believed it. Uh, now that it's actually happening, a lot of people are surprised by it, but I'm not. So, who's the best? Uh, who's the best point guard you played against this year? Chris Paul. Mm. Chris Paul, um, you know, just how he controls the game. Uh, he uses his eyes so well. I mean, they, he looked me off so many times for me trying to see what he was going to do. Uh, he makes his teammates better, and you know, he controls the game. I think that's the biggest thing. He can take over scoring the ball or making plays. You answered that pretty immediately. Was, was it close? Was there somebody else who, or was it definitely Chris Paul? Who else enters I mean, that conversation right there? It was a lot of guys that were tough to guard, but I think overall just playing against them for a full game, he was the toughest easily. All right, okay, we're well, out here in the court here. We're Jeff. on the court. You know what, Damien, because you know, we're watching the Bulls tonight and we watch Nate Robinson and we lots of, watch a lot of guys get double teamed. And mm -hmm. you in your first year, 1,500 points, 506, you're going to get double teamed in the pick and roll. So I want to put you in the pick and roll and just kind of see 
And me and Charles will be defenders because Shaq. Yeah, Shaq just set a pick. Set the pick. He <laughs> likes to set picks. I ain't we'll no do it pick setter. <laughs> oh, Ernie said the pick. Yeah, I ain't no pick setter. Go ahead, Ernie. Come on, man. I ain't no pick setter, man. Go ahead, Ernie. Come on, man. I ain't no what pick are you setter, man. For when you have <laughs> the double team coming, because that was the biggest problem, I think, for a lot of young guards is facing double teams. The first thing I'm looking for is the quickest outlet pass. Um, mm. I think the faster I can get the ball out, that guy can make the next play. Because mm -hmm. if two guys are guarding me, that means it's a, f a four on or five on. No, it's a, a four on three. Or right. It's a four on three, so the next guy should be able to make the play faster mm -hmm. than I'll be able to. Come and so, off the pick. So if the first thing we got the pick and roll. Oh, 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 oh. that's, that's your screen. Ass that, that ain't no foul. That's a good screen. <laughs> that ain't so no now, foul. So now, if, like you said, the first thing you're looking for is on the outlet. So okay, let's get back in the pick and roll. Let's say now I can't let you get your 500 assists, and I'm going under. What are you looking for now? I'm gonna shoot the ball. Are oh, you shooting the ball? You How under, many I'm times are you shooting? Like this. How many times are you shooting it? Every time. Every time. Okay, see that's my that was my rule that I said. If that's I have my, this that's much space, I'm shooting every time. We used to call that 007. Well, well, you know, that's a license to kill. If a guy goes on the screen, he's disrespecting the fact exactly. that okay. he can't shoot but the ball. But what? Let, let me ask you this question. What if I say, Kenny? Kenny, switch. I got this. I'm gonna back you out to make you come out here and guard me. Oh, don't make me get down. Because yeah, this guy down here. And if you stay right there, this guy, guy here. Don't do it, though. Barbecue chicken. Oh, I got Shaq down there. I'm don't throwing that out. Here. Barbecue you know chicken down there. Don't throw it down here. So the art of the pick and roll is NBA basketball. And he did, to me as a rookie, they talk about poise. That's when you need the poise inside the pick and roll. Damian Lillard. Pleasure to see you, man. And again, congratulations. Tremendous year. Fantastic. Man. Tremendous year. Right. Congratulations, brother. All right. Most hey. improved player next year. Hey, when, you, when you're That's watching. It. We got to get most yeah. improved next year. When you're watching that. TV out in Portland, you ever watch Shaq and a Fool? I watch uh, it all the time. I well, thought I was going to be on it. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's coming up, but a playoff edition uh, of Shaquille O'Neal's Shaq and a Fool. So keep it here on Inside the NBA, presented by Hyundai.